Okay, and let's see how the Ishan E56 flies outdoors, all ready to take off. Let's take off. Bring it up a bit. There oh, we go. Nice and steady. Oh, a little bit of a wind, but it is holding nicely. I just want to try and take a picture of the bush in front for a selfie. Just take it up a bit more. Okay, so it would be good if the hand controller had a button on to press for a photo, but it doesn't have one on at the moment. Just take it around here. Up a bit more. Okay, holding still quite steady despite the wind. Okay, stop the clock. A little bit of a lag on the hand control. Still holding quite steady. Going nicely. Nice. I go forward and back again. Back this way. See how it goes down now. It doesn't respond too well if it gets a little bit too far away with the hand controller. So it's better to keep it closer by. Let's see what it comes out like. It's up a bit more. Down a bit more. But still, you know, there's a bit of a breeze, still holding quite steady.
the yaw quite nicely and slowly and it's in the medium rate. So not something I would go too far with with the hand controller. Okay, we've got flashing lights now, which means low battery. But let's just see what happens and how long it's going to last. Try and keep it steady. But for a selfie drone, it's quite stable, quite nice. You can hold it quite well. The wind's about five miles per hour, so it is really strong, but still holding very well. Hopefully, the video come out nicely with the 720. HD camera. Like I say, I just wish that I had a photo button on the hand remote to take a photo. But I am recording video. And okay, low battery now. And okay, I'm going to stop it now. Very stable, very impressive. We'll see now what the video came out like. So flies really nicely outdoors too, even in a bit of wind. And just one other thing, um, I tried the app on two Android devices, very latest Android Marshmallow and another one, and the Android app doesn't work, but it does work on the Apple iOS. Thanks for watching, cheerio.